Hello everyone, so in this video I will be discussing about probability and it's basically the possibility of whether an event will happen or not. So let me start with a very common example. Uh, suppose if you are dealing with a coin, in that case you might get a head or a tail, right? So probability is, uh, probability will give you a value that will indicate how likely it is to get a head or a tail in this situation. So if you think in general, in that case, if we have a chance of 50%, right? 50% chance of getting head. Similarly, 50% chance of getting a tail, which is the probability of head is basically half. Similarly, probability of tail is also half. So you can express probability in terms of a percentage. If you multiply this with 100, in that case, you get 50% chance, right? So we will be working with the fractional part only, half. So if we look at this situation, probability of half here is actually because of the number of head and the total possible options. For example, you have two options, right? Head or tail. So that's because of, uh, that. so this two is because of those two options. From these two options, we have only one side of the coin that will give us a head. So that's why one, one by two. So, if we look at the definition of probability, it's basically, uh, if we look at the formula, which is basically number of favorable outcome divided by total number of possible outcomes. Okay, so we had two possible outcome here so that's why we have a two here and only one side that will give us a head so that's why one so if you look at a different example suppose if you are looking at a die so it's a cubicle six-sided die with numbers written on it as one two three four five six suppose if you have this die uh, and you need to find the probability of getting a 2. So like I said, you need to select the number. Uh, you need to select the number in how many ways you are getting 2. So we will get 2 only when the die will land with a 2 on top, right? So we have only 1, 2 here. So that's why 1. In total, we have 6 different options. So 1 by 6. So as you can see, it's not 2 by 6. The answer is... 1 by 6. So it's it's the number which matters, not the value. Similarly, if you need to find probability of 5, how many 5 we have here? We have only one 5, one possible way in which we can get a 5 from this type. So 1. In total, we have 6 options. So that's why 1 by 6. If you need to get an even number, suppose if you roll the die and you want the value to get uh, you want a score uh, which is even so we have two four and then you have six so in total we have three different numbers which are even so three options divided by total number of options which is six so the answer is half so from the situations we can see that it Basically, the chances of getting a specific event, right? Uh, of getting a specific value. So, let's see another example in which we have a box. And inside this box, we have uh, five red marbles. And then you have three blue marbles. In total, we have eight different marbles. So, uh, from this box, if you randomly select one single marble, what is the probability that you will get a red marble? So it's just that you can clearly see the number of red is greater here, right? So th there is a higher chance of getting red. So it totally depends on the number. So probability is what? Number of favorable outcome divided by total number of outcome, right? So in total, you have eight different marbles. So the total number of uh, total option here is eight. And since I'm selecting probability of red, number of red is five. So the answer should be? 5 by 8. Similarly, what's the probability of getting a blue marble? So it depends on the number of blue. So number of blue is 3 and out of 8 marbles, right? So divided by 8.
next we will discuss about the range of values of probability as in suppose if you have eight red marbles here in that case if all these marbles are red in that case if you need to find the probability of red it should be eight by eight right so there is a hundred percent chance that you will be getting a red marble out of the box similarly if you need to find a yellow marble from this box it's impossible right you won't be getting any yellow marble because it's not present in this box so zero number of yellow in this situation is zero divided by eight so it's zero percentage so basically one represented that it's a it's completely certain that you will be getting a red marble when all the marbles were red and uh, if you select something un, uh, which is not possible impossible situation in that case probability is zero so from this two different scenario we can actually conclude that value of probability always right lies between zero and one so probability will always be between zero to one and since this is hundred percent this represents hundred percent situation so total probability for any situation total probability will always be one Okay, so next we will be selecting two marbles from this box. So suppose if I need to find the probability that both of the marbles will be red. So I will be selecting two marbles randomly from this box. So when you are selecting the first marble from this box, what is the probability that it will be red? Number of red divided by total number. So we had five red marbles here and in total we have four, uh, in total we have eight marbles, right? So when you have already selected this marble and you didn't replace it back, okay, so one of the red marbles is now outside the box. So inside the box, you have only four red marbles. So when you are selecting the second marble, when you are selecting the second marble, now the number of red has decreased by one. So total number of red present at this situation is actually four. Similarly, total number of marble has also decreased by one because you have already selected one red and removed that from the box. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So total number also decreased by one. So from here, we will be getting the value for uh, two marbles, which are red. And since we are selecting both the marbles as an AND condition, for AND condition, you always need to use multiplication sign. So that's why we have a multiplication sign here. And for OR condition, it's always positive. So we will look that, look into this situation after a few minutes. So since we are selecting two marbles, first marble and the second marble, so that's why we have a multiplication sign here. So from this line, we will get 5 by 14. Similarly, if you need to find the probability of getting two blue marbles from this box, the answer should be... Uh, when you are selecting the first blue marble, we have three blue marble out of eight. And then when you have already removed one marble from the box, you are left with two marbles. So when you are selecting the second blue marble, you have two blue marbles divided by total number of marble is now seven. So if you are selecting two marbles and the question asks you that we need to find the probability of same color marbles. So if you need same color marbles, so it can be red or it can be blue in this situation, right? So when you are talking about same color marbles, it should be probability of red or you might get two blue marbles, right? So probability of B. So either we will be getting two red marbles or we will be getting two blue marbles. So for our condition, we need to add, we need to add this individual probabilities. So I have calculated the probability of red and blue. So I will just add them up. Okay, so in this case, if we need to find the probability of getting different color marbles in that case 
it can be one red marble and one blue marble so probability of red comma blue or it could be one blue and then red because the sequence is not mentioned so you need to select both the orders so blue red and red blue so you can solve them individually so when we are selecting the first red marbles so we had five marbles here so five by eight into uh, we had three blue marbles three by seven or the situation can be blue red so suppose when you are selecting the first marble is blue in that case three by eight you need to think this separately from the very beginning it's like the box is completely new so when you're selecting the first marble as blue number of blue is three divided by eight and then the second marble is red red in the box is actually five since you have already removed one blue marble number will decrease by one so it's seven so you can get the value for probability of different color if you add them up you will get 15 by 28 but then again you can get this value directly using a shortcut since total probability of one whenever we need to find probability of different color you can just use this one so one minus probability of same because one is the total probability if you deduct the same color situation like it cannot be the same color it means they are different right so one minus probability of same color is 13 by 28 so the answer is 15 by 28 Okay, so in this entire situation, the first marble removed is not replaced, right? So the entire situation is that it's without replacement. Without replacement. But if the question says that the first marble which is picked is replaced suppose when you just selected the first marble and then you just replace that in that say in that case number will not decrease suppose if you need probability of blue blue it should be 3 by 8 into 3 by 8 because the first marble you just removed you then replaced it so the number will the number will be 3 because you replace the first marble which you just remove from the box so the number won't decrease so the answer should be 9 by 64 so this is the situation whenever they, they, they mention that the marbles are replaced I just discussed the basic probability concept using three different situations related to coin, dice and marble. I hope this video was helpful. See you in the next video.